Alright guys, so on today's lesson learned, we're going to learn about bead rolling on intercooler piping. So we have the car on the dyno today, come on up here. We're doing some tuning and right here we had a pipe pop off. So I've already taken the top clamp off to speed this up a little bit and pull this pipe out. And no bead rolls. So what's a bead roll do? Well, a bead roll keeps a pipe from slipping off of the tube. Let me show you how we do a bead roll. So here we got a little jig set up for bead rolling. So, here's your difference. You got that? No bead roll? Bead roll. When the tube slips down over this and you put the clamp here, the clamp tightens down to this diameter. In order for the clamp to slip past the bead roll, it's going to have to either break the clamp or crush the pipe. Uh, in this case, being aluminum, uh, breaking the clamp and crushing the pipe probably isn't going to be a possibility. So I'm going to finish this other one really quick. Oh, but look at that. This is not a good candidate for us to go through and bead roll. So here's, I don't know what this material is made out of. It didn't, it started to flake a little bit. I'm getting close enough so you can see how it's starting to flake a little bit. Went through and we bead rolled this side a little further and it actually destroyed the aluminum. So we're gonna have to move over to a stainless steel pipe in a replacement for this. So, Placement tubing. What, all, what we'll do is we'll be right back and we're going to show you this in a stainless steel version that doesn't have all this erosion here. Now, the reason this probably happened, the customer did this. Uh, I'm going to assume he went down to Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that and just got a piece of aluminum tubing. Uh, it's a pretty thin wall and when we went through and go the, put the bead roll on this, this is probably a harder material than what we'd use in the automotive industry. So you're going to end up with some flaking over there. So I'm going to show you how to do Why it. Why don't you want flaking? The flaking, well this will flake off and get into the system. And this is probably, if I were to put this in a vise and pry on this a little bit, it's just going to tear. It'll just tear across that, that lip. So I'm going to come back in just a second with the, in the steel piece. Round two. Aluminum, stainless steel, throw a bead roll on it, we're going to go put it back on the car. So. Both of the stainless steel bead rolls a little smoother. And we like to use stainless steel on most of our bead rolled products. Uh, aluminum with our intercooler piping, but you know, if we're doing small stuff like this, the stainless steel always seems to work a little better. So, check the ends for any burrs, make sure we don't have nothing in there. Let's come over here and put it in. So, there's a hose up here, I'm not sure if you can see it. Can you see that in the, alright. So we're going to put the hose in there, slip it down into the one down below, load her back up on the dyno and get it dyno tuned. I bet you guys want to see some pictures of this getting dyno tuned also. We'll have those up in here in just a little bit also. Some videos of dyno tuning is always fun. What I'm doing now is I'm throwing a little bit of oil on the ends of the bead roll just to help it slip up through the rubber a little bit easier. All right, 
You want to push it in about an inch. I'll show you down here how far you want to push it in once you get into that point. So you see how far the pipe is hanging down on this lower joint here? What I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen that clamp up. I haven't loosened that one yet. Okay, so we got it pushed in up top. Now we're going to push it in down here. Like I said, you want to push it in about an inch. So you can get that bead roll past the hose. So if you look real close, a little bump right here on the pipe, you kind of see it all the way around. You want to put the clamp up above that bump. That's where your bead roll is. Get the top, get the bottom clamp tight, then I'm going to go up and up the top clamp. So, you see how the bump is now underneath the clamp? Now, when you're tightening down these clamps, you take this. See this little bit of rubber sticking up above the clamp? You want to make sure you have... Lots of noise. Sorry, guys. The compressor's running. So, you want to make sure you have a, a, a little bit of rubber above the clamp. Because if you don't have a little bit of rubber and you take it right to the edge of the clamp, the camp, clamp can slip the opposite direction. So, now I'm going to tighten up this top one up here. See if I, I'll get up here and point with something. Up here, see the bump right here? There's a bump right about there. We want to make sure we put the clamp underneath that bump so it doesn't pull off. Again, making sure we leave a little bit of rubber on the other side of the clamp so it doesn't slip off the rubber set. But with that being said, there you go. So lesson learned. Make sure if you're going to put aftermarket pipes on your car, you're going to head down to Lowe's, Home Depot, the auto parts store, and you're going to put a different pipe in there. Try to make sure you get a bead roll thrown out by one of the local performance shops. Thanks again, guys.